you know, I actually took a, took a look around. Didn't find any indication of DLC existing for this game. So maybe there isn't any DLC yet. Maybe it's just already baked in and ready for future DLC. Because there's a bunch of DLC that's like announced for the... the Japanese version that I think is already out. Because the game came out a while ago in Japan. I, I noticed an additional detail when I was looking around, which is that the original game, it, the Japanese copy of the game, is called... Uh, Judge Eyes. Oh, hi guys. How you doing? Don't mind me. Whee! Ah! Rude. I want that hand. Can I have that, please? Oh, no. It's called Judge Eyes, which I think is supposed to be tying into the fact that he has that whole... He keeps having those scenes where he's like, Look at these eyes. These eyes don't know how to judge right from wrong anymore. I'm a bedraggled detective who doesn't... Who's, who wallows in the moral grayities of a noir narrative. Uh, all that stuff. Uh, seems to be tr probably directly tied to the fact that the game's called Judge Eyes in Japan. Which is a hilarious name. Hello, welcome to Smile Burger. Home to, of the free smile. Be my friend. You're on my friend, Dar. How do I make you my friend? Give me your King Smile Burger. With a side of friend. Oh. Can't even. You can't have a beverage with your food. You have full health. I don't want to live in this universe where you have to suffer pain in order to eat food. You haven't been stabbed lately, so I guess you can't eat a burger. Oh. Hey, you. Over there. I don't mean to startle you, but could you show me your smile? Huh? Why? Well, we've decided to host an event that fosters friendship between Smile Burger and the local community. Allow me to explain. First, each of our guests can take a smile snapshot with one of our Smile staff members. Then we'll post that snapshot up on our official Smile site. <laughs> and finally, our other customers can go online and vote on who has the winning grin. Simple enough? Eh? Wait, you're going to be uploading our pictures online? Hi. Yes. And to compensate for this blatant breach of privacy, the winner gets first dibs at trying our secret menu. You'll still have to pay for the food, though. Uh. So after forcing us to smile and uploading our pictures online, you still want to take our money. Uh, sir? Could you maybe turn that frown upside down? <laughs> Why not give us a smile instead? Uh. Man, all I wanted was a burger. How do I get out of this? Come on, don't be like that. How about taking a picture with yours truly? The name's Hanaida, by the way. Friend event. So this seems to be how you unlock... This seems to be how you unlock uh, all the side missions in this game, or at least a bunch of them. It says that more of them will be available the more friends you have. Alright, fine. I'm a sucker for a secret menu. Great, let's get started. We're gonna take this one right out front. And let's see that handsome smile. I know, maybe try laughing. How to take a selfie. Open up the camera app and press, yeah, switch the front camera. Left is troubled, right is angry, up is pleasant, down is classic. So up is the closest we have to smiling, basically. Find the right location and lose yourself in the moment you want it. You better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss a chance to flow. The opportunity goes once a lifetime. You better really nail this selfie. <laughs> Hi. Smile. That's the most barely existent smile. Hmm. Well, it wasn't terrible. Is it wasn't it though? He, like, didn't even try. I'm afraid your smile still needs a little work, sir. Are you not na naturally a happy person? Oh, jeez. Right for the neck. Hey, you asked me for my best smile. And then you come for my life like that? No frowning, please. Just keep that grin on your chin and look forward to the results. Now, oh, you're green. Oh, so I think, I think the yellow I saw was like, gold rank friendship, because I think it was a smiling face. This one's a, a neutral face. 
Hello, welcome to Smile Burger, home of free smile. Oh, I can't eat anymore. Thank you very much. All right. So begins my friend odyssey, where I must conquer, I mean, achieve many friendships across the land. The guy was telling me to, to the Yakuza friend was telling me to cheer up. And then I go and show that I can't even smile. Uh, 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 help. Someone bring a translator. Translator? What's she talking about? Hey, is everything all right? No, it isn't. I don't understand a word this guy is saying. Please, help a girl out. Pardon me, but do you happen to know where the lavatory is? Hmm, I've always been good at basic English. I should take over from here. Hey, all he wants to know is where the restroom is. Oh, it, it's right outside of the cafe. Um, in English that would be... It's right outside the cafe. You can't miss it. Excellent. Thank you very much. That went pretty well. Hope I wasn't too rusty. I'm sorry about that, sir. That other word really caught me off guard. I always thought that it was just toilet in English. Well, at least you know your basics. Sometimes it's hard to determine the best word to say. Yeah, I do like the language, but I haven't been studying it for long. Gotcha. So you're a student right now? Huh. Yeah, I'm actually in college. I've been managing to work overseas for a while too, once I graduate anyway. Or I've been thinking of working overseas. So I decided to start working here and get some more speaking practice. You know, since hotels generally have a lot of foreign customers. Not a bad idea. Well, keep it up. And maybe your English will improve. Yes, thank you for today's lesson. Oh, and can I ask your name? Sure. I'm Takayuki Yagami. And I'm Kaede Sanada. It was nice to meet you. Likewise. Well, keep at it. Hi. I will. Hope to see you next time. We're working on it. I'm also on my way to getting skills and so on. And also, it's a... It's also a food place. Can I order? You can't even order coffee when your health is full? Well... They don't even have real food here. Hopefully, I guess the scene ended, so I guess we're fine. I, w I was worried we were going to find out that actually I didn't translate well either, and now that person's, like, having an occurrence. I noticed that her handshake icon's gone. Whoa! I accidentally climbed that. Hey, guys. There you go. I can't even grab people when they're down yet. It's weirding me out. Oh, I just accidentally used that. I meant to change stances, which I've apparently forgotten how to do. There we go. There we go. A bit more impactful. Definitely a different approach. I'm curious why her friendship icon went away, but then hers is here. Like, if I walk in here, and then open the map... Oops. Does her... Hers didn't come back. I wonder if this is already ready to proceed. Oh, with the free smile. Well, what do you know? I Oh, maybe it's ready to proceed because I have been damaged again, so now I can eat food. A braised pork burger. Thank you very much. Nope. I got 20 SP for eating a new thing, and that's about it. I think we just have to wait. I'm not sure why her, why she's on the map and he's not. That's a little odd. 
So you've got a big ol... Hmm. These are different, like, more transparent handshakes, but that one's, like, full-on green. So I think I did finish that one, basically. One waiting for me at that food place, but that's a food area. Let's go to Popo's. A lot of them seem to be businesses. We might as well establish progress on the side content early. Uh-oh. Okay, hi. Hey, rude. God damn. Dude's having a bad day. Hi. Oh. That's unfortunate for you. Well, if I took a hit, then I can go to the restaurant. Wait, is there another one here? My goodness, they're everywhere. We're gonna meet so many people that deal with food all day. That's not the door. <laughs> I just slap into it. Welcome, sir. Onion rings, tomato onion soup. Oh, I actually kind of want that. Thank you. What? Interesting. Nothing's happening. I wonder if there's somebody upstairs. Uh, is it you? It is not you. I've been having difficulty peeing lately. That's normal, right? <laughs> oh no, I could just push him around. <laughs> no, he's in a panic. What's he gonna do? How does friendship work in this game? Oh, that, pardon the interruption. May I have a moment of your time? Uh, sure. Great. My name is ya ya Yasuhiro Furuya, and I'm the event pl planner for Wet Kitchen, a local burger shop. Yeah, I noticed. I'd like to get more acquainted with our customer base and see how they perceive our re restaurant. So he wants to interview me about the restaurant. Did I go through with it? I can chat for a bit. Thank you. So, what do you want to ask me about? Well, you see, our corporate office is asking us to come up with a new collaboration campaign for each of our stores. But to put it to you plainly, I'm terrible at thinking of new ideas. That's why I decided to take a chance and leave it up to our customers. That is a bold move. If your suggestion does get used, I'll make sure to give you some form of compensation as well. But I've rambled on enough, haven't I? Please. Let us know what kind of store you'd like to see us cooperate with. Hmm. Getting the chance to influence a local fast food chain is pretty rare. But what would mesh really well with Wet Kitchen? Um... A fast food joint would be weird because they're already a fast food place. Cabaret club and cafe. Mixing with a cafe is kind of regular-ish. Cabaret club is amusing because it's the wet burger. Am I right? <laughs> that could be funny. I kind of want to see what happens if I pick that. Honestly, how about a cabaret club? It would definitely turn a lot of heads if that's what you're going for. A cabaret club? Well... Yes, it would turn heads, but in the wrong direction. That's far too adult-oriented for us. Now that you mention it, children do come here pretty often. My mistake. I'll think of something else. It's the cafe, right? A cafe. They're practically all over Camarocho. I'm not entirely sure partnering with a cafe would leave a noticeable impression. Perhaps we'll save that for reference. 
He doesn't seem too impressed. Maybe I should go for something else. A fast food joint. Why not another fast food place? That's a possibility. So wouldn't that essentially be pushing for more of the same thing? Well, don't you think it'd be awesome if two rival restaurants ended up working together? But, is such a thing even possible? It's practically unheard of in the industry. I mean... In the United States, there's a fair number of instances of two different fast food places being in one building together. Although I think they might be co uh, they might be things that are owned by the same company. I mainly think about the fact that I've never seen a green burrito building on its own. I don't think, but I always see green bur burrito as part of another building. I don't remember what re what restaurant is it's ta it's attached to it though, but that's always how it seems to go. That being said, perhaps it's all the more worth a try. Right? In that case, I'll propose this campaign to corporate right away. I'd like to give you a little something in case your idea is used. May I have your name? I'm Takayuki Yagami. Let me know what happens, yeah? You bet I will. If and when I hear the good news, I'll contact you right away. Do 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 do. It really would be cool to see what two fast food giants could come up with. No, but turns out well. Well, see you later. It's an interesting definition of friendship we have so far. It's just develop. It's just talking to people at uh, fast food chains and just getting really into them. Welcome, would you like to try our music fair today? The what? A music fair. That's right. Get one point for every 700 yen you spend. Once you get 10 points, we'll give you a nice new record. Whoa, 7,000 yen. It's actually totally easy to spend in this game. A record. Like an LP? Yes. Furthermore, each popo in Kamurocho has a different record to give away. Hmm. We do have a record player back at the office. Remember to do lots of shopping at Popo. So every day I buy it, everything I buy at Popo counts as a prize. It's not a bad deal. I just bought so much here. And now you're like, psych, you should have bought stuff already. The hug bomb. It's the most expensive item in the entire place. Go for it. Thanks. With today's purchase, your points have gone up by 10. Wait, did I just maximize my friendship with him instantly? You now have a 10 point total. Congratulations, you managed to reach 10 points. Heck yeah. <laughs> Here's our limited edition record. Popo Tenkaichi MFLP. Thanks again, and remember, always shop Popo. Or Popo, I'm not sure. Call in the squad. Oh, it's one of these guys. Raising your friendship with the locals will allow you to perform EX bonds with some of them. EX bonds work the, work the same way as normal EX actions, but they can only be triggered in specific location your ally is in. So if you find someone in town that would make a good ally, definitely get them on your side. Hey, he's instantly maxed out. This isn't what friendship is, dude. Although he's apparently so thankful that I, like, bonded with him here by being a customer that he will help me in combat which i mean maybe i'm the one who's wrong about how, about how things work in this world hey can somebody try to mug me real quick no reason please hey have you seen any yakuza around here sorry anybody see any yakuza around here i just want someone to try to punch me this is a normal request no strings attached definitely not any implications of fear of further violence occurring to you are you your yakuza yep they are come on over here Gah. hey 
At first I was confused because there was no music coming up. I'm like, are they gonna fight me or not? I gotta take my time so they don't lose them. Gotta train them over here. I don't think that- because I don't think there's a cutoff point. I think if you just keep them coming, you're good. Look at the stampede of people running. This is incredible. He's dead. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? That guy just threw a moped. Uh huh. There we go. Oh yeah? Oops. Alright, let's try this again. You're never gonna taste anything for months. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Oh, he's never gonna taste anything forever. <laughs> he's he's just dead now. I murdered him. I murdered that man. Also, I could see a cool animation of me murdering that man. <laughs> it was a recursive loop of murdering that man. <laughs> it's basically what happened there. Oh boy. I'm just waiting for, like, some kind of storyline to pick up. As I find the right people. Just gonna run into this wall for a bit. A young man in a ninja suit helped me cross the road. <laughs> Alright. I was gonna talk about that, like, there's a, bu there's a bunch of fucking ninja boys running around in Guy Fox masks doing parkour, being a thieving club. Like, that's- that's incredible. And we're totally gonna see them around more, aren't, aren't we? Can I just throw you into traffic? Nope, not quite. Blocking attacks. Learn the foundation of defense. Guarding is a crucial ability that lets you block. Beware of back attacks, you cannot guard against attacks that come from behind you. Avoid this, maintain a fighting stance and keep them in front of you. They have to lock on. Blades and bullets can't be blocked. And guards can be broken. Most of these stuff we know already. If you've watched the last like 150... Actually no, like 240 episodes I've done. I've been, I've been, I've been playing this a lot. Friendship boy, talk to me. No, I can't. Sushi Gen Owner. Welcome, sir. I have achieved minor damage. Kiwami! Hey, Ozumi. The customer is about to leave. Aren't you forgetting something? Huh? Like what? Don't tell me you still don't remember. N no, of course I do. In fact, I'm doing the thing right now. Well, I'd be I'd better get going. Oh, before you go, there's something I need to serve you. Hmm? Hmm? And what would that be? I have to, uh, serve you something that comes at the end of the meal? Oh, like what? <laughs> you know, every sushi restaurant serves it at the end. That thing. What thing? That is a big-ass tentacle right there. Come on, I'm sure you know what it is. Just let me know, and I'll be happy to get it for you. Don't tell me. This guy doesn't know what to serve, so he's trying to coax the answer out of me? Wow. But what would a sushi restaurant serve at the end of the meal? Oh no. The restroom key? All three of these are involved to some extent. I don't know which is the customary ending thing. Quick, somebody call Andrew. Feel no answers to things. Shit. A hand towel? 
Are you talking about the hand towel? Uh, yeah! Hand towel, coming right up. Dumbass, you're supposed to be serving green tea. Oh. Whoops. I thought you have tea and ginger with the sushi. We serve it at the end to help cleanse the palate from the oil contained in the fish. I told you a thousand times. Whoa, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now, now. I'm the one who told him the wrong answer. Can't you go a little easy on him? Is that so? Well, I suppose that's fine. But you're not getting off the hook next time, Oozumi. You, Ozumi. I doing this letters backwards. Yes, sir. Sorry you had to cover for me just now. I can only imagine how hard it is working at a sushi bar. You must have a lot to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Especially because the boss makes up his own weird terminology that's literally impossible to memorize. You'll see what I mean. Hey, this one's more deliberately friendship-like. Which none of them have- this is the only one that seems like it's the beginning of a friendship. Actually, no, there was the, the- the translation one. Sounds like- it seemed like that. The other ones were just like, interactions with companies. Interesting. I guess I'll be seeing you around then. Name's Yagami, by the way. Nice to meet you, Yagami-san. I'm Kenta Uozo Uozumi. And please, don't let my la lack of knowledge keep you away from our store. You're fine. And besides, the sushi here is too delicious to keep me away. Yagami-san, thank you again for dining with us today. Well, good luck. I'm just raking in the SP. I qualify for 30 different things again. It seems to be my my number continually. Alright, I tax free shop, huh? I haven't been to Don Quixote's yet this game, so let's take a look. So see if they sell anything weird. Noodle cups, drugs, cat food, just that. Okay, okay, how many So I'm gonna have a cat, right? That's what we're going towards. Yeah. I am 100% absolutely going to have a, a cat in this game, and that's why they're offering so much cat food everywhere. There's a popo. Excuse me. I don't know if side quests unlock when you reach a quota of friends, or if specific friends unlock specific side quests. It might be both. Oh, you look sad. Welcome. Would you like to learn about our music fair today? Alice Eno. Hmm? Oh, it's just the same thing. How many characters are... Huh. So out of the 50 characters, multiple of them are just this one thing. Repeating. Which seems a little odd, but okay. Hug bomb. Solves all my problems. One click instant victory. I have level three city reputation because I bought, because I got a record from two Popo locations. That's that's increased my reputation with the city. What a weird metric. Currently you have a 10 point total. Oh, you reached 10 points. About time too. I bought one bottle of thing. Here's a limited edition record, sir. All right, strange mechanic, but it'll it'll very quickly be over, I suppose. So don't have to worry about that too much. What is this one? Le Mash. Okay, that one will be different. That's not just a popo location, unless they literally do the same thing. I guess we'll find out. Oh, it's a clothing store. This is where I go to dress up. I have a disguise menu, so maybe you buy some of them here. Welcome, sir. Nope, these are earrings. Holy crap, man. Recommended for mature women. Designed by Famous Idol. Oh, these are gifts for your girlfriend when you get a girlfriend. Yeah. Huh. With a touch of whimsy. I'll grab one of these. The one by the idol. For a hypothetical girlfriend we don't even have yet. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's probably not even how you trigger the story happening. Alright. Well, that'll come up when we start having a date, I guess. Since that seems to be implied as being a significant piece of content. Modern Mahjong. You will not get me to play Mahjong. Nah, I would like to, if I could figure it out. I think I... Was it Shogi or Mahjong? I think it, I think it was Mahjong I tried to play last game in Kiwami 2, and I could not figure it out. I tried. I won, technically, but I did not understand it nearly as much as I thought I might eventually understand. And I thought I would I thought I would try to learn Shogi next in the next game, but I don't see it in this game yet. Hey there. Hey. I, th I just threw a bike at you. You wasted it. <laughs> the off-camera kill. Alright. One last bit. One last food. And then we'll start the next episode off at the, at the next story location. Yeah, I found my way back here again. Welcome, welcome. Can I take your order? I would like to go to these kinds of places. I've only taken chip damage so far, because we're not exactly fighting boss fights that break dance with uh, pistols or anything like that. Which is basically a real thing that happened. <laughs> Thank you very much. Come back again. Hmm. Compliments to the chef. Why, thank you. Seriously, your chashu is incredible. Oh yeah? Glad to hear it. A lot of people compliment our ramen, but to be honest, not too many people mention our chashu. Huh. Wonder why. It's the strangest thing. We put just as much effort into our chashu as we do our ramen. That's probably why it tastes so good. Ha. Huh. Then I'll let you in on a secret. We do add a special little ingredient that you probably wouldn't expect. Oh, and what would that be? Small children. Take a wild guess. Hmm. Can I take it? Can I get a hint? All right then. Let's see. Normally you'd add sugar to sweeten up chashu, but here we use something else. What do you think that could be? A substitute for sugar, huh? MSG and high fructose corn syrup. How disappointing would that be? Honey? Honey? Aha! Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You must have quite the refined palate to have figured that one out. I don't know what Chashu is. <laughs> That's how clueless I am. I'm gonna Google Chashu as we do periodically when another food thing gets mentioned. Uh, it's Japanese braised pork belly. Okay. Now I know. With that, or with the right amount of honey, you can make nearly any cut of meat drip with sweet, tender goodness. I see. Now that you mention it, that chashu is dripping with sweet, tender goodness. Indeed. Say, what's your name? Yagami. I'm Yagami. It's nice to meet you. Yagami-san, huh? The pleasure's all mine. Hope to see you around more often. You bet. See you next time. Friendship. I'm appreciating the parts of his cooking that don't normally get credit. That's the basis of this friendship. There are a lot of people running around with the uh, the face masks on. Or mouth... masks. That sounds weird to say it that way. I, I, I can't get over it. This jacket has to be too short, right? Look at, look at it. It just looks strange. If I wear this jacket, people always could tell how fast I'm running. 